feeling fresh. Uh, I have re I have not renamed the stream. Whoops, sorry, my bad. Yeah, okay. Uh, so hello everyone. This is a very, uh, why do I have Texas as Ida? Get rid of that. Don't need it. Um, so uh, yeah, this is the a, a stream. This is definitely me just doing a stream. Uh, today is the I am so out of practice. This is what I get for almost skipping a week. Almost skipping a week. Uh, so today is the thirty uh, first of March, uh, nineteen two thousand and twenty one. Uh, today I am playing just a little bit of Toy Story. I know I played Toy Story yes Monday. Dang it. I am so out of it. Um, so let us get right into it. Where's my game? Show me the game. Show me the money. I need the game. There it is. Um, so yeah, you may have seen that I uploaded, uh, or I streamed Toy Story last time. Uh, there were a few things that I realized when I played through the game um, that I would like to showcase. Now, the nice thing about this game is that you can do anything in any order. Or not any order. You can, sorry, as in you can go back to any level and it's exactly as if you started. The only things that are like hard there are unlocking the abilities. Uh, but there's a few things um, that I'd like to show off, uh, right away. So I guess the first one is, uh, something I found in, uh... What would be the best level to demonstrate this? We'll do our space line. We'll do, we'll do this level. Um, but yeah, there, there are a few things I noticed, like, in the meantime of playing this game. Uh, and I guess it's just interesting to... No, so first of all... I found out what the <laughs> what the button for using the the um analog stick is. It's uh, start select L1 R1 L2 R2. Thank you, Retro. Appreciate it. Uh, so anyway, here's thing number one. This is something that I never realized. I actually found this out while I was trying to do the retro achievement set for this game, which I did afterwards. And fortunately, I do have full 89 out of 89 on that. Um, uh, but, uh, I got a, a couple things to talk about today. This is gonna be a shorter stream, by the way. Um, just gonna be like 30 minutes or so. Um, alright, so, oh, oh, I bust that up. Nice. Never mind. Uh, so, what I want to do is I want to die. And also in the game, I want to lose all my health. Um, so what we want to do is, yeah, die, and the moment I die, I'm gonna pause and attempt to exit the level. This is... the window is rather big. It's not like too... too precise. There we go, so... If I exit the level, notice how Buzz stands up right away. He doesn't... <laughs> he doesn't fall over. Um, now the level just goes, yeah, he exits the level, yada yada yada. The key thing, and this is something I want to demonstrate, uh, is that... Um, you can... Notice that my health is now zero. On top of that, I also have zero lives, which has put me in an interesting position. Um, and that's something I actually haven't toyed out yet. But notice how this enemy is not hitting me. Or this one. Notice how I can't spin the enemy. I can definitely laser him. Uh, so that was a fun exploit. I can pick up coins, by the way. So any sprite-based uh, pickup, I can still collect as well. Um, but the enemies don't hit me. Uh, they will attempt to hit me because I do exist in this space. But yeah, spinning, ground pounding doesn't work. The laser does. Um, now, this seems like 
a great bit of invulnerability. There's two downsides. One, the lack of spinning and the lack of um, ground pounding means I'm unable to defeat certain bosses. In fact, basically, I think the level... Um, the level 9 boss requires spinning because you've got to fight those um, guys with the shield. Uh, but the other one as well is that you can't pick up the, uh, the 5 collectible thing. It just doesn't want to pick up. Um, but... The moment, and, and, and it's fun on this guy, because it's like, he tries again, yeah, you, he just can't do anything. But, the moment you pick up a battery, and you heal, you start taking damage, man. Now here's something I want to toy, toy around with. I've got zero lives. So I'm curious what happens if I actually, like, cop it right now, and then I exit the level. Is the game gonna like me doing this? I don't know. No, it actually did game over on me. Here's some music I haven't heard in like 10 years. Sure, okay. Um, <laughs> and by the way, full, full restart of the game because of course that's what they do. Because uh, if I click start game, it's, it's back to the beginning. It's back to the beginning, nice. So, um, yeah, uh, now when I was going through the Retro Achievement set, I had inconveniently done everything that would have benefited from having that. So, beating certain bosses without taking damage, that's great, because you don't take damage. Unfortunately, yeah, boss 9, um, uh, 12, 13, 14, 15, all need the spin attack in order to work. It's just... It's, um, it's a bit unfortunate. Um, and not being able to pick up the five collectibles um, definitely does hurt. But it was something curious that I'm glad actually, like, I could find out. Um, so there's that. Um, I guess here's another one that I, I had uh, found before. So um, looking at the power-ups and what when you need them, and kind of just reminding myself after playing the game, uh, you only ever need the shield in Andy's house to cross the, the poo. And, uh, our space land, which has the shield, um, blocking the, uh, or blocking... In fact, I, I, I can even demonstrate this. Legitimately, without the, <laughs> the, uh, the life thing going on. Uh, so it's this aisle, I believe. Um, you're supposed to, yeah, use the shield to, to cross over. I can't think of any other place that has the shield off the top of my head. I legitimately think that you could just beat the game without picking up the shield power-up. I think you can just keep, keep going. So what you're supposed to do here is, yeah, pick up the shield and go. Notice how many times I get hit here. This is just a Flora's Lava sequence, like, as long as you don't touch the ground, you're fine. And then, yeah, once you're at this point, like, you're jumping anyway, so you must not have the shield. And then, I'm over, I'm out. I'm here in the alien, they're everywhere. Jeez. Another alien, I can't believe there's like two of them just right there. Um, but yeah. That's that. That's that's all you really need the shield for in this level, is just to clear that room. You don't even need it to even be in there. And this this area, like, you just go across to, to the, the race. So I feel like you can beat the game without needing the shield. And I can't think of another time that you do need it. I, you don't need a level 14. Level 13, I can't think of anything. Um, 10? Don't think so. 11? Don't think so. So... Uh, but now, what other items do you have? When well, level 4 you get the, the, the frisbee disc thing, you do need that. You need to be able to beat the boss in level 4 and level 7 with it. I think those are the only two times that does appear. But now here's the other interesting one. And I love this one. I love me figuring this out. So, you need the rocket boots in order to cross, like, all the way over there, uh, and then ride the thing to get the chicken up there. Uh, what? I found out is that the jump is not entirely impossible.
And you can see, like, not entirely impossible to the point that I'm not even, like, grabbing the ledge. If you do the timing just right, you can cross that, and you can jump over, and you can do all this without needing the rocket boots, which is hilarious. You need it to get it, but, yeah, once, once I'm up there, like, you know, I can pick that up. But, now here's the interesting part, <laughs> is that that's one thing, that's one thing. Like, yeah, you can get that without the rocket, but, like, what's the point? Well, uh... So, there's four points in the game that I believe you need the rocket, or that you can get the rocket. So the first one is on level two, where you've got the race. You've seen me do that without needing the rocket. You don't want to be in the way uh, one's in level five, uh, where um, Slinky is. Um, you just use it to get out of the water a little faster, but you don't have to really use it. Um, one's here, and then the other one's level 14, just to get around quicker. It's nice to have there, but like obviously you can jump this without that. What I found out is that, uh, this sign has a climbable hitbox, and I'm, I'm an idiot, I, I missed the jump. But it's like, the whole point is that, like, you can climb that, and then just jump on that, and you're immediately over. You don't have to do any of these jumps. This sign, <laughs> this sign has a hitbox, and you can climb it. Did they playtest that? What? <laughs> You can just climb the sign, what? Like, I, I, I feel like they intend for you to go that way, because the whole point of the timer, like, cutting out when you walk over here, that makes sense, but I don't really know what was going on there. So, for reference, the save, where I've got 50 thingies, I've done it without unlocking the, uh, the, um, rocket boots. I don't know if there's a way to, like, skip this. Because this would, this is the big pain of this level. Having to, like, go up here just to get one of the chickens. Um, the uh, infinite health, well, not the infinite health, but the emboldened um, kind of exploit would be nice and convenient for this fight, by the way, when you use the disc. Um, but yeah, I don't think there's a, there's a nice, like, easy way to, to get up here, and I'm pretty sure it's because they programmed the jump to not exceed a certain height from where you start. Unless, I can jump from here, and I'm actually saying this uh, as a question, I don't actually know if you can. If you can, then sweet, but... Nah, that's a bit too far. That's just distance at that point. So, I don't think there's any easy way to get around there. Um, for reference as well, that involved thing applies to every source of damage. Um, there's no bottomless pits in this game, so that's never a concern, but, um... Uh... But yeah, I, I found out after, and I was like, why am I not taking damage? And then I'm walking on the, the poop there, not taking damage. I'm going, what's going on there? So... That's a bit bizarre. Um, I think the other power-ups are the grappling hook, which you need to only use then, and level 5. And then the last one is the hover boots, which comes back to this level and has no other uses. Um, there may be a way to do that with the hover boots, but I don't believe I know how. Um, so I'll, I'll, I'll leave that for the moment. Um, there's a couple of other things that I did find out that will save me a bit of time. Um, so let's continue on off the top of my head. Um, Owl's Penthouse. This is this is one that actually I, I'm really surprised, like I didn't even realize. Um, so, start off the level, and there's, oh, there's a shield there, and the only reason why the shield is there is to grab this life. And you're, you're forced out. You cannot pick up this life. Unless you have the shield. It just walls you out. So... That's definitely something about uh, that part. Um, but here is something kind of interesting. So this whole part definitely takes a bit of time. This whole, like, you got to push the box into the room, and then you've got to figure out how to do the trains such that the train hits the end, which allows you to push a box around the perimeter until it's behind the, the train bed. So that was one thing. Uh, you only really need this box to be, like, at least at some point that you can jump up here. So, I think you do need that box. Uh, what I didn't realize is that, um... Note how the top of the bed drops off a little bit. Oh. 
I wanted to flex. I wanted to do it first go. Um. Oh, I'm terrible. I'm the worst. I'm the absolute worst. Oh. <laughs> I wonder if the, this would have been interesting as like a pre-recorded video format as well. I just like the idea of doing it live. Um. But not yet. You can make that jump and just immediately grab the token without having to like do any of this puzzle. And like, it's definitely like a little bit of a precise jump, like you kind of have to know what you're aiming for and time it a little right, but like, it's not too bad. <laughs> you can do it with the camera going the wrong way, you can do anything, so. Um, I don't think I've got any like quick exploits for this room though. And it's a little unfortunate that you do indeed have to push the box back in here. Um, to, to go around in this, but you know, at least getting getting that out of the way, like that would probably save me like two or three minutes off my time. Uh, and me pushing this down under two hours will be interesting. I think it definitely can be done. I've, I had a lot of like sloppy whatever looking around. Um, I don't have anything too interesting. Well, I guess I've got like one thing for the airport infiltration level. Um, and this was just one that, well, like, yeah, I remember taking things in a bit of a weird order. Uh, and also having no idea where the, uh, the little, little, uh, tater tot, whatever, uh, thing, the collectibles were in this level. Um, so if I jump up. Yeah, there's one above me, and that's what I'm hearing here. Um. But, uh, the one that I want to test out right now Buzz is, uh, the one Ranger above the... I'm trying to think, what even is this? Uh, you can kind of zoom on up. There's nothing really, like, stopping you from going on up here. Um, so that's... that can be done right away. Uh, but you do have to go into this room to get the, uh, the Mr. Potato Head part to get the hover boots. And that definitely has to be done. Um, but yeah, what I didn't realize is, uh, what oh, is load. accessible without the hover boots. Um, so if we go up these things, then, uh, one of the thingies... Actually, was one of the thingies there? No, that's just, that's just a platform. I don't know what exactly, like, I'm jumping on here. Like, I know this is, like, plain, but why is it vertical here? Uh, I love how you can just... Yep. <laughs> nice. I love, I love how you can just face that way and just jump up into it. That's a cool one. Um, so this one's a legit fun one, and I don't know how exactly you're supposed to, like, even attempt to do that. But, without the hover boots, uh... It looks a little, little iffy. In fact, it is. But without the hover boots, you can actually jump on the box where the hover boots are, and you can make that jump. Um, I'm trying to figure out if I can just do this without... Okay, you don't even need the hover boost, you can just jump up here. <laughs> Alright, and that at least saves you climbing up here again. And then really all you need is... I guess you do need the hover boots, but you can drop down two ledges. Grab this thing, and then continue on the other half of the, the level, and come back later. Um, so that seems like that's uh, a speedy thing to do. Uh, I don't have, I don't really have anything like too big on the tarmac trouble level. I don't know why the, the, the late game is like ticking me right now. Uh, there was one, I guess. Uh, I don't have the rocket boots, so this is gonna be, this is gonna be good fun. Where I just run over to this corner. Um, so yeah, that, that's the only reason why the rocket boots exist, considering how quick it is to unlock, and also I think the 100% speedrun category does include collecting all the, the power-ups, so you can't exactly skip it, but uh, being able to do something out of order is, is nice, so being able to do level 2 right away. Uh, so this thing has a bag on top of it, uh, but you can stand on the underside and jump around and climb up, which allows you to collect the bag and also this light, if you really wanted a life like this light. Um, that was my one thing. Unfortunately, I don't think you can jump up 
here. Um, and that means that you've got this corner, you've got the other corner, and then the this ledge up here. So, isn't it weird? It's six, seven, eight, and one. What are the things? Um, but yeah, you gotta go up there to get another bag. Um, so that has to be done in that order. <laughs> uh, the rest of the level seems pretty pretty fine and safe. Like, in fact, I think you. I can't remember anything else if you go around the outside, but. Uh, I don't have anything to really say about the bosses. Oh, you can you can do Zerg quick if you actually, like... I, I didn't realize during the run how to kind of, like, spin in the air. Uh, but you can see if you... Oh, nice. Nice. Uh, you can see that if you... You can, you can tap jump at any point in the spin, which means, uh... Gosh, it's actually been kind of obnoxious. What did I do to, to like really like speed this? I think I just like let him come around there. Oh. Yeah, the green tennis balls are actually the worst on this fight though. I think the trick is just to stand in the center here and just let the tennis balls hit the center. Uh, but yeah, you can see that like this seems to be a, a working strat to like getting this fight done quick. It's just to like direct him towards the center and then do a jump and a spin. Uh, but you don't want to jump off. That's your one rule you don't want to do. And he's being a real jerk right now. And also, also he's a bit of a jerk later on when he plays the game with it. I think his logic intends for him to just like move up, but uh, you could definitely you could definitely take him out a lot quicker than what I did during the run. So I think that would save a fair bit of time. Um, I don't know why now it's asked me to save the game, but sure. Uh, I don't have anything to say except Toy Barn account. Oh, I might as well show off like what exactly uh, I figured out with this one. So this one is basically, yeah, the guy comes down and then two seconds after some animation, oh no, two seconds after every enemy dies, he takes damage via the center. So I do a charge laser shot and then he spawns an enemy. Oh, and get used to yeah, hearing that line every time. But yeah. So just you shoot you shoot the enemies. Once all the enemies are done, it will take damage. Oh. And then you just rinse and repeat, you keep going. Agent of Zerg if I've ever seen one. Or if I ever saw, sorry. Don't shoot too soon. Unless it bounces off. And then you can shoot again. There's no indicator that you can shoot him. That's something that uh, I think definitely the game's a bit at fault for. Uh, what are you targeting right now, Buzz? Uh, this guy definitely isn't the best shot if he's above you. No. So, yeah, it was at this point that I was like, oh, I can't rely on the... Um, the exploit to be involved. There you go. Uh, I don't have a, a, an easy exploit for the slime time boss though. Uh, I guess apart from doing the dying thing. The problem with that as well is that it takes time. Yeah. Ooh. Um, so that seems to be just that. Uh, so what else, what else? Um, I haven't shown the, the, the uh, elevator hop, or as it is referred to on the uh, European version, lift hop. I guess I should have mentioned that. Um, I don't have anything real quick on alleys and gullies. Um, 
Oh, the construction yard. I do have I do have a skip on this. I do have a bit of a skip. Uh, it does involve uh, kind of skipping something. So I'd say this is more like a 0% uh, strat. Um, so you do need to be able to get up onto the, the construction site. I believe this is the only way that you can get up. But you can do it without pressing the button. Which might save a little bit of time. And that is... Kind of stand there, which gets you over there. So, uh, and then, yeah, you don't have to waste time hitting the button. You can just kind of keep going around uh, as you would. Okay, so as we jump around, watch out for the thingies. You can pick up that if you want. Um, I'd say if you're waiting, like hit the button, hit the lever, because then you can at least recover. Uh, but now here's the thing, so I'm gonna sit this on this side. I think the timing's gonna be right for me here. It is not at all. <laughs> I think you can tell what I'm trying to pull off here. Uh, and that is like, you're supposed to land on this middle part and then loop around again. Uh, yeah, um, level design. And then, uh, bonus points. We're gonna- we're going in for the big whammy. No time to lose! There we go, so that's supposed to go up. Uh, which allows you to jump into the middle here, which means I'm at the top already. Now, unfortunately, on the way, it means I've missed, uh, a bunch of coins and Mr. Potato Head's thingy, which means I can't actually... Um, yeah, like, I feel like it'd be convenient to, to get Mr. Potato Head's thing on the way up, and then you come back up on the lift. That, that screams to me like the most efficient way to get back up here. Uh, so to that, I guess the question is, where is Mr. Potato Head's, uh, yeah, just so that I know that, like, where I can skip. Um, is it, is it? No, it's his, it's his eye on this level. Oh boy. I think it was on the next level though, wasn't it? Pretty sure it is. So maybe skipping this level is not like as vital. But it's interesting that you can like skip that whole like level below it. Um, I guess it's only like four levels, isn't it? So yeah, is the, the thing around here? Maybe not. Oh, gosh. Hmm. Alright, I'm just gonna like go through this normally just to, just to find out where his eye is, because that's, that's one thing I haven't prepped for off the top of my head. I don't know who put that coin out there though. Um, oh, I guess one interesting thing is also as I as I was going through the achievements that um, I'd learned about the uh, the amount of coins per level. It seems that like whatever's on the retro achievement set, there's maybe like at most like three more coins on the level. Um, it's a little uh, iffy precise, but you can still kind of miss like one or two. Um, it's kind of annoying on the later levels. Um, where, where were the, um, thing is? It gets kind of annoying on the, the later levels when they are larger. Um, lift hop, surprisingly, or elevator hop, has surprisingly very few, um, coins. Why? Am I mental blanking? I thought the, uh, the, like, piece was on here somewhere. Like, on, on the construction site. I guess the whole place is a construction site. On the building. Oh, you know the reason why I can't find it? Because I'm on a save that's got all the items unlocked. Yeah, you can yell at me on that one. 
I don't think I have any other, like, clear, like, cheaty things on this level. Um, so I think I've got maybe, like, one last thing to show off. Yeah, yeah, I think I've got one last thing. Um, so Andy's Neighborhood, I don't think I had really anything, like, too huge to show. Uh, just because, yeah, you can't really wing too much of that level. The tree is just the tree. Um, and then, uh, yeah, Andy's house, um, almost the same deal. You do get to skip the box. So, um, so as in when you start the level, and, uh, I'm gonna see if I can kind of nail the, the, the climbing quick. Yeah. It's a lot easier with a stick. Yeah. So you, you, whoop, whoop. I'm not perfect at it. <laughs> but that, that seems to be like the best way to climb things is to do this like spin. So maybe do it while you can like safely like see the camera. Um, and then yeah, the other, the other one which I tried doing in the, in the run was, uh, you can climb up there. I think you need an analog stick to speed run this. This game's a banger? Oh, exactly. So you can then go up here like that, and then there you go, you get the sheep like that. So there is that. Um, this guy is not too bad, maybe I can, construction level can die though. I'm trying to think, like what level do I hate the most? Probably um, the level after that, the alleys and gullies, just because the, the, ver the verticality and Standing on the fences. I hate that. Um, the construction side's not too bad. It's kind of bad. Um, so yeah, that guy just takes three thingies. Uh, very intimidating level two. Yeah, exactly. Um, I think the rest of it like is a bit daunting. The lift, the elevator one, uh, can be a little jarring. Um, Powers in this game also though. Oh, exactly. Which is why I'm uh, <laughs> about to show uh, why you can skip one of them. So, uh, first of all, I saw this being done in a run. Now, this is actually like one of the worst jumps. That is actually one of those. Thanks for the follow. Um, why aren't I following you? I don't know. Uh, that jump's a hard one. I'll try that in a bit. But uh, I, I wanted to show off down here. So, first of all, um, yeah. And, and, and bonus points for uh, going. Jump back over here, grab the, <laughs> grab the, the sheep. Like, not only, like, is the consequence for going in the poop, like, barely anything, but also, if you don't run into that guy on the way, you can just jump over there, and bam! You don't even need, like, you do, it's not a problem. Not a problem at all. And then you can just continue on going up here. I'm just gonna go Commit, bro. <laughs> now, I, I do think you do have to push these. I don't think there's a easy way around that. Advanced tactics. Oh, exactly, exactly. That's what <laughs> five year olds can't figure out. Dude, 20, 24 year old me from last week couldn't figure that out. So I tried like long playing the game. Um, yeah, last last week I got a uh, just just shy of two and a half hours of the total stream time so i'd imagine it'd be like a little less um of actual time but definitely one where like yeah i could totally do this game in like under two hours if i really wanted to I am and i believe like and and that's for feet. all 50 tokens i believe the full hundred like speedrun.com time is it's either an hour 10 or the hour 20 <laughs> next land oh 100 100 percent. i am doing this next land because two hours is a great amount of time and uh yeah no it's um, like, I'd say it's, it's safe enough to run, that, that as well, because every level, um, yeah, I would love to, like, actually, like, try and do some decent times on this. Uh, my problem with speedrunning is that I don't have the greatest motivation to, like, try and do, um, like, that is the worst place to land. I don't have the greatest motivation to try and, like, be the very, very best, but I love being able to do something in like a very approachable and like demonstrable amount of time um so me doing like half-life one in like two hours like 
you know, even though even though you can do Half Life One in in um, that's not single segment the half hour time is it? It's like thirty eight minutes like single segment. Uh yeah. Oh, that jump is trash. It's possible. I guess the problem is that you can try it once and then your recovery is just this. Rank four for PlayStation, hundred percent. Oh jeez. And then the no, I will be there, and there's no reason to jump it down onto the table below. But this guy's gonna be a jerk to me, maybe. Uh, the game is much glitchier on the N64. The N64 version is definitely much, um, much more played. I know that, and I feel like it's probably because of um, uh, because of um, loaded up times on this is just trash. Here's something I'm curious about. Can you just jump this? You can. What's the point? What's the point? <laughs> What's the point in any of this? If you can just jump it. Well, when I was a kid, I never realized that ground pounding made you jump higher on that. Um. Hey, Buzz. Can you find my sheep? So I'm on four sheep already. I've just been playing this level, like, half legit. Um. So yeah, I guess the only other sheep left is uh, up here. Oh, I don't have a, a... Oh, actually. My brain's just thinking like, can I reach the car from here? It's, it seems a bit too far. It seems a bit too far. Um, and I don't, I don't think there's an easy way to do like any of the rest of that. So I think you do have to do that legit. Can you zigzag? Um, I don't think that distance. I don't think it's... Quite. Oh, here's something though. I, I, I'm curious if, like, being up here. You've got to be kidding me! What is this game? <laughs> what is this? <laughs> That's so dumb. That's so dumb. I didn't even plan for some of this. I'm just looking at it going, like, I wonder if that cup can be used as a jump. <laughs> and you can just go for it. You can go for that cup. What is this? What's this cup doing here? Like, I know for decoration, but like, why is the jump from the cup up to there? Like, why is that doable? Hi. I uh, get the green laser? Yeah, sure. Um, so what? It, oh. So, so is there anything with the green laser that's like too important? I can't think of like too many scenarios where like you'd actually like run into the green laser and then have to use it. In this level, yeah, definitely not, because you're not fighting anything. It's not efficient time-wise to go back up for the boss as well, so... And, and the boss only dies in three, like, straight hits, so... Um... There's no, like, quick, speedy strat on here, is there? I was curious if that actually, like, if I could, like, wing that. Because the best part is that, like, I could, if I picked up the sheep, I could come around from the top. There is a way to shortcut it. Uh, it's to do with that shovel near the finish line. Oh, yeah, because you totally can just jump over, can't you? So, he's probably gonna, like, finish it for me. So, if I had the shovel done, uh... By the way, he doesn't, like, re-race you ever, does he? You have to exit the level and come back, don't you? It's a bit of a jerk. Bit of a jerk shovel there. Uh, so when the shovel is down, you jump over the finish line, but you go back into the shovel. Oh, so you do, like, a circle jump there. Yeah, no, there's definitely, like, there's a lot of, like reasonably approachable like speed running like just things with this game i guess because like none of it is really like well <laughs> n64 maybe we'll see but uh like hard glitching so let me let me drop down the, the shovel first uh uh this is an emulator this is i do own it on hardware uh but it is the european version and i do know that there's uh one uh, a couple of differences, but uh, one that I noticed is that you can't jump on poop while you've got the 
well, while you're on the poop, I guess. So, you kind of mildly force to use a shield, even though you don't have to do it. So what do you do? You, you jump high and you jump over like that? No. What exactly do you do here? I guess I that count as a I come in peace. That's what I was thinking. <laughs> alright, 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 let me do it once more with feeling. <laughs> oh, that's kind of dumb. I hope, I hope there's a, there's a kind of exploit like that in the, um, second level as well, because I hate, like, trying to wing that without the, um, the rocket boots. I, you can do it without the rocket boots, but it's not, a, uh, it's not the most convenient. Oh, those long load times, I swear. Yeah, maybe I should give the N64 version a try. And suddenly, Blendo's channel becomes... So, okay, so what I would do is I would go from... First of all, when the camera isn't, like, being aggressive. Yeah, I guess I'd have to do that. Uh, I would go up here, step on that, jump up here, jump back, do this part legit. Uh, although I don't need that second uh, one. Same thing with that one, and same thing with this one. Then you can get the sheep, drop down onto the shovel, talk to this guy. I guess we'll just climb up here. Have you played Gex? Oh, dude. Gex is my... Oh, my absolute favorite. This is so dumb. That's so stupid. <laughs> That's so dumb. Uh, I have played Gex. I played Gex 1 once. I have actually been replaying Gex 2 uh, recently, and it's been pretty good fun. I think I may like 2 more than 3, uh, but 2 has the slightly more um, uh, abstract level design. Um, never play 1 or 2. 3... Uh, 2, by the way, has... Um, uh, it's got, three's got like the one thing where it's like, you gotta pick up a hundred coins effectively in the level. Uh, two's got one where like, you have to pick up 30, you get a life. Uh, 40, again, you get a life. 50, you then get the remote, but the, the coins effectively respawn when you die, but you don't lose your counter. Um, so it's sometimes just fairly easy to just quit, sorry, like kill yourself and then just pick up things again. Um... I don't have any, like, key strats with alleys and gullies off the top of my head. Hold on, I actually might try the, um, uh, the race. Um, uh, two looks bad? I, yeah, I, it, it's aged. It has a bit of a horrendous draw distance and the camera is kind of filth, to be honest. I think the art style is okay, though. It's, it's a bit of everything, though. Like, it, it is one of those kind of, like, whatever kinds of games. Um. I think the really weird thing is that someone looked at this company and said, yeah, give them the Tomb Raider license, to which they still own. That's a crazy pairing I would have never expected. Um, so here's something I'm curious about. I don't believe, like... Like, I think they do expect you to go around the tree. I don't think they just, like, detect that I like, walk around the poles like that. I think there is a trigger on the other side of the tree. Because if I come around here, it's obviously going to go like, yeah, nah, you didn't do a lap. Um, I guess without the boost as well, like, the tree is really thick, so you can't exactly, like, skip the tree. I think it is detecting at least, like, going in the middle of these as well. Um, I would love to reverse engineer this game. Uh, yeah, so, yeah, yeah, you, you just constantly body block RC. Um... That would be how you do it. Um, so yeah, I think what it's really just detecting is that you go on the other side of the tree, and then you don't even have to go through the center. I think it is just detecting that you, like, hit somewhere behind the cone. I love how he spins out in the water near the end as well. Oh no, I think you do have to go through the center. Okay. 
Uh, well that's finished there, so that's a little unfortunate. Um, I guess, yeah, the only other, like, quick thing that I can think of is, uh, picking up the token without inflating the duck. You can definitely do it from up here. I'm curious if you can do it from over there. Because if you can do it from over there, you save a little bit of time. Not, like, too much, but just a little bit. Um, there's definitely a lot of coins on some of these levels. It gets a little uh, pickier near the later levels. Um, for example, like, I think Lift Pop legitimately only has... Oh, I hate myself. Um, legitimately only has, like, 63 coins. So, getting 50 is a bit of a, bit of a push. Um, but, like, some of these other levels, like, I think one of them has, like... Oh, one of them legitimately has over 100. And, uh, the coin counter, uh, ceiling's at 99, so if you try picking up more, it just, it just stops. Which is, uh, kind of interesting that, yeah, the, the coin count doesn't, like, it doesn't loop, it doesn't actually continue counting, it stops at 99. And there's no reward at, for even, I hate myself, uh, there's no reward for even attempting to get, um, 100, so... You can try. I'm curious if there's a coin dupe glitch. I think I mentioned this um, in my actual one, but... Ooh, why am I terrible now? I can't believe it. So have I actually booted up every level? I haven't booted up alleys and galleys. That's the only one I haven't booted up. And lift up. I don't have any strats on lift up. I guess just like doing it quick. So... What I was hoping I could have demonstrated was uh, coming over here, picking up this guy, and then... Uh, this is going to be gutsy as. So go in here. And... Got it. <laughs> nice. Nice. Uh, and, and you'd come here, like, last. You'd, you'd clear off the that neighborhood over there quick, and then you'd climb up the tree. That seems like the, the best kind of order to do things. Um, also in the Retro Achievement set was uh, collecting every life in each level, um, which was interesting because uh, this was one of the last ones I had done, and I didn't realize that the life is like up there <laughs> on top of the swing set. It doesn't intend for you to like stand on this narrow ground, like level 5. Um, oh, and there's also a life like really awkwardly high up like at the top here, I might as well just try that off. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yep. The music is such a vibe in this one though, so I guess me playing the N64 version will be interesting. I think PC is where it's at. Uh, you only have to drop it down for backtracking purposes. No time to lose. Here we go. Oh, there we go. I hate that jump. It's, it's trash. Uh, this guy was also a lot quicker, like when I. Thank you, game. He just, he just kind of takes it. He really just takes it. I don't really know what's going on there, but sure. Um, so yeah, this was, this was a weird one. The life is up. Oh no, it's not a life, but there's a battery up there. It's, they intend for someone to go up there, but the jump is just like, you gotta like stand here. It's a, mm, never mind. Oh. Okay, I'll, I'll take two. I'll take two. It's, it's, it's a very bizarre, like, jump, because you can't, like, I think what it looks like you should do is, like, you jump from here up to there, but that leaf is too high up, and you don't grab it. Oh, I can't, I cannot, I cannot. <laughs> I can't, oh. So, um... I think I failed to mention, my internet had been out, uh, basically the Monday of me, um... Yeah, oh, it's such a weird jump. Uh, it had been out the Monday that I streamed last, and then, uh, yeah, I was a little slow in re-uploading, uh, or the last VOD. I know you can just tell Twitch to re-upload it, but I couldn't vet the quality, so I wasn't 100% sure, uh, whether it was good or not, but it seemed, seemed fine, so I, I 
publicized it today, and I was like, you know, I want to do a catch-up stream because, because uh, yeah, I haven't done a stream this week, so um, I'm gonna end this one rather soon. But uh, <laughs> interestingly, when I tweeted um, out last week, like, oh, my internet's down, thanks NBN, I'm just gonna keep trying this. Uh, NVN Co. Australia, official Twitter, uh, replies to me going, Hi, BNS, sorry to hear about that. Like, what's going on? And I was like, well, my ISP said, like, like, they're handling things and they're sending technicians. And I'm like, that's about it. And then they said, yeah, that's about the right thing to do. And I'm like, cool. Nice. Thanks, PR. So, uh, interestingly, I then started this uh, stream or the announcement. I, I just kind of did a tweet form. Uh, I said... Hey, like, uh, my internet's back. Thanks, NBN. And another person replied saying, You're welcome. Happy streaming. And I'm like, Oh, they're, they're tough to hate. I, I, you gotta love, you gotta love when social media really treats you like a king. Even if you did just tweet at me, you know, I don't get too many Twitter notifications. You're definitely popular in that inbox, and I appreciate it. Um, so one of the interesting uh, retro achievements in this set was a uh, crossover to the the part with the duck without touching the uh, the slinky platform. Um, I don't really have too much to say about that. It's it's a little awkward. Just do that for retro achievements. But uh, yeah, this uh, I don't really know like what this is supposed to even like be a challenge for? This actually feels like a real, like, cop-out, like, challenge. Great it's like, going, it's over in like 15 seconds. And then, uh, yeah, here comes the fun part where I gotta, like, jump over and not touch the water, but should be fine. Uh, since you, I guess, well, actually, if I was skipping level 5, uh, sorry, then I'd come back here with the rocket boots, so it actually wouldn't be too bad to drop down. Uh, currently on my save, I don't have the rocket boots, so, uh, yeah. But because they, they zoom you right up, uh, you, yeah, I guess you'd save time coming back here, so... I feel like it does make sense to just, like, come over here, get that, like, uh, thing quick. Because you have to, like, kind of keep coming over... Well, you gotta come back anyway to pick up all the ducks. I don't know, I can't think of, like, um, the other, uh, things, because you can, you can get the coins, but that just takes forever. You can get the secret. I guess the secret is the one. That might actually be the one. So, let me, let me try and do the secret. I don't think there's a way to jump up on any of these without the, the grapple. Um, never mind, you're gonna need the grapple a couple of times throughout the, the section anyway, so, can't really skip that. Um... But, uh, yeah, so, zoom across here, um, nice. So what I was thinking was, uh, yeah, maybe you could just come over here and do the secret. I think the problem is that you still gotta come over here anyway. Um, so how do you do the secret? Uh, really quick, the easiest way I feel is just to, like, come up here, uh, jump over here. Uh, the other umbrella is looking awfully nice. Jump up here. I don't know why on earth the rocket boots are up here. Um, because it's like the jump is right there. You, I don't know. You're supposed to do this intricate thing where you blow the balloons? I did it in my run the other day, but yeah, I feel like that's... If that's not the closest one, um, I feel like that'd probably be a good dead end one. Just because as well, like... There's no... Oh, wait, you still have to get the duck in the water anyway. Well, I guess climbing. Climbing's probably the bit that would, like, take the most time. At least, like, separately. Um, so I have the feeling that maybe picking up that, um, that token is probably the quicker one to do. Um, yeah. Uh, I don't have really anything else to note, so, um, yeah, unless if anyone else has something to kind of, like, ask or, or demo or something. I guess uh, I'll, I'll do one last one, and that is, uh, show off, um, elevator hop, and just, like, how quick can you get to the top. Uh, even though I am gonna, you know, you would 100% this level when you do it, um, 
So I guess, first of all, you'd have to pick up the, uh, the item from behind you. And then, uh, yeah. I guess you just, you just go up, you gotta make sure you're hitting the enemies. Because you do need the coins on this level. So I guess this would also kind of know how many coins I am getting. Um, this one's a fun one though, just because, like, trying to figure out the way the level design works. Uh, all these vents kind of arc over like a U shape. So like, imagine you're on the left side of the U. Um, so now I'm on the right side. You get the green laser, which is always good fun. Uh, you gotta cut over here because the mouse. I don't think there's a coin there, so I'm good there. Uh, this then kind of lips off, but uh, do note that the. Uh... Oh. Yeah, do note that this uh, just kind of circles back. Um, a lot of the coins as well, it's it's kind of unfortunate, a lot of the coins are like, drop, drop down from, from the, uh, the bit there, from the, the slide, the secret slide. Uh, so this is one where you turn around. So you turn around after the, uh, the, the grunny dudes. Um, love this fan, gets in my way, every single time. Mmm, love this fan, love it. more and fan fan gotta love the fan and you back up and you're in the room oh whoops ding coin 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 oh here's one as well uh speed run strat right one center one every time uh, the level 14 one is a different pattern every time but this one it's the right one and the center one Gets it there quick, gets you up the top, and I have how many coins? Thirty. I'd say that's pretty solid. Um, anyway, I think I think I'm good. So uh, with that, um, quicker stream today. But uh, thank you guys very much for for watching and tuning in and just just seeing something that you may not have seen before. Uh, I do want to lean a little off the Toy Story for the moment, but it's definitely one where it's a, I guess that's a way of presenting some content that I hadn't presented in a way before. Um, so if you're on YouTube, please subscribe. If you're on Twitch, please follow, but, uh, you know, you do what you do. Um, so make sure your internet is all working fine. Uh, make sure things aren't broken and people aren't telling you what it is and put your foot down if not telling you what you do want to hear um other than that have a safe uh week have a s oh it's not gonna be a full week because it is wednesday so i will attempt to do a stream on monday uh, which will be easter monday um clocks will be back half an hour so if you're not in australia it's gonna be an hour later than usual from here on out i'm sorry that's just how time works have a good one guys